Okay, so the Go Cycle is an electric bike that is designed from the ground up. So in other words, it's not a conventional bike with a battery and motor attached, but rather everything is designed to be integrated. Now, I'm just gonna grab a wheel there. Thank you very much, Fraser. So, the frame and the wheels are injection molded magnesium alloy. So very light material. Very light material, very strong material. Uh, and also it gives us the ability to create a frame design like this. That means that uh, the battery is enclosed in the frame very neatly. Uh, and also we have a geometry that is unique to the Go Cycle. So with one size of frame, you can accommodate people from 1.5 meters tall up to two meters tall. Or as we'd say, about five foot to six foot six. Yes. Um, now, another unique feature is the pit stop wheel. So you can see it has three cam levers that lock the wheel with a final lock and ring. And the front and rear wheels are identical. So it makes it one of the very few bikes on the market where the drivetrain is completely independent of the wheel. So you can see how the three cams work. We hold them open and a little tap and it's off. Hydraulic disc brakes, three-speed Shimano Nexus hub gear, which is customized for us so that it's side-mounted. Another unique feature. It has a conventional chain inside the clean drive, but because it's fully enclosed, it requires very little maintenance. It's pre-lubricated and tensioned, so you don't have to do too much work on it. But it keeps you clean, and it keeps the bike mechanical parts clean as well. So, I'll put that back on, and you can just see how simply that fits back on. It's a click, click, So click. instead of skewers in a traditional bicycle, you have a new design. Absolutely. Now this design, um, we have carried through from the original Generation 1 Go Cycle, which dates back to 2009, and the original design for this it comes from the really the real beginnings of the company, so around 2002. Uh, and this is now our Generation 3 model that we've lo just launched in the US at the moment, but has been available in Europe since about um, March this year. So I'll show you a couple of other little features. I'll just put the front wheel on again, so you can see the bike as a whole. So it's a very fast system, very easy. And if you ever get a puncture, it's simple to fix. So we like to do things in a unique way. And one of these travel and storage solutions we have is a unique Go Cycle front pannier. If you have a look around this side, you'll see the fast end mechanism, which is a very simple lever. Pop it up, up. And there's your pannier. So to put it back on, it fits over the front bolt and your lever just locks down. Anything specific about the handlebar? Sure. So I'll take that off and show you. What you get is a dashboard. That's just screensaver mode. But here you'll have the information like your battery charge. So we have 10 LEDs and that's fully charged. Then there's one LED in the middle and that's your gear selection. So as I mentioned, we have a three-speed rear hub gear. But if I twist the little grip shift, second gear, and third gear. Now, it's just gone back to first gear because we're not moving. So it has this predictive shifting. And one of the key features with the Go Cycle is that the motor is in the front hub, and you pedal conventionally through the rear hub. And that means that with the predictive shifting, if you stop at the traffic light, um, it automatically goes back to first gear. If someone steps in your path it automa and you stop suddenly, it automatically goes back to first gear. And that means to pull away again is all very, very simple. Not like a conventional bike where if you're in a high gear and you get stopped suddenly, you struggle to get started. Go cycle is very easy. Um, also built into the dashboard, we have this integrated daytime running light. Now, cars have had to have daytime running lights for a couple of years now. And we think that with electric bicycles you've got a battery on board it makes perfect sense to have a safety feature such as this built in 
It comes on automatically when you start pedaling and it also has a couple of different modes. It does it have a daylight as well? And not for the integrated daytime lights, but uh -huh. for the conventional night lights, because we mustn't mistake this for a night light. So a night light would be more penetrating, um, and we have a mounting for it just over here. Yep. And so you can attach also integrated night lights um, off the battery, and then we'd have the real light for that. Okay. Thank you so much. No problem.